Hello guys, welcome to another edition of our lesson video in TLE 6, ICT and Entrepreneurship. Today's topic is using the advanced features of a slide presentation tool. In this lesson, you will be introduced to the advanced features of Microsoft PowerPoint, which allows you to have more control over your presentation from design states up to the delivery. You should possess the following prerequisite skills before proceeding to this lesson. Number one, creating a blank presentation. Number two, adding new slides. Number three, Reviewing your presentation. Number four, inserting objects on the slides. Number five, moving, copying, and deleting slides. Number six, apply design templates. Creating a multimedia presentation using advanced features. Starting up and choosing a slide theme and a theme color. First, Click Microsoft Office PowerPoint to open the app. Second, as the app opens, you will be prompted to choose a theme. Click your desired theme. Third, you will be prompted again to choose a color. Click Create to apply the chosen color. Fourth, as the slide presentation page pops up, type your title in the text box and subtitle in the subtitle box. If you can customize the font style as well as its size. You can change the color of the font as well as the background color in the format tab. Six, add animation to the text by clicking the animation tab from the menu. Click add animation and choose the animation style. Maybe in entrance, emphasis, and exit. 7. Customize the animation by clicking on the animation pane. Set the trigger, effects options, and timing. Adding graphics. Add another slide to the graphics. Click Insert tab from menu. Images or graphics that can be inserted may be taken from your saved pictures, clip art, a screenshot, or a photo album. Click on Picture to insert a photo file. Choose the file that you want to insert on the slide. Try adding a clip art to the slide. Search and choose from a list of graphic clip art. Next is, move the clip art within the slide. Twelve. Aside from pictures and clip arts, you can also copy a screen image of another opened file or a web page by clicking on the screenshot icon. Thirteen, choose the open screen that you want to capture. The result should look like the slide below. Add animation to the image by doing step six and seven. Adding hyperlink. A hyperlink is an electronic link that allows a computer user to move directly from a marked place in a document to another or within the document. To add a link, use the hyperlink tab found in the insert menu. Explore on the different ways the hyperlink function can be done by clicking on hyperlink. To link an image or text to another slide in the document, click on the said image or text. Then, Insert hyperlink. Choose the highlighted icon. Then click on the slide that you want to hyperlink to the image or text. To link an image to a website, highlight or click on the image or text. Then insert hyperlink. Click on the highlighted icon below, then type the URL in the address page. Note that the hyperlink text changes its color. See the results in the slideshow view. 
embedding audio or video. Embedding an audio or video file will help enhance your presentation. To do that, simply choose the Media tab. Choose a video from your computer file and it will automatically be added to your slide. To view the video, play the slideshow.